Everybody, this is your boy Bill Bellamy. Welcome back to the Bill Bellamy Show. Today we have an outstanding actor, comedian. You've seen his work in the is movies. Somebody else coming in? Uh, whatever. You've seen his movies like Elf. You've seen Couples Retreat. You have seen uh, Fridays. He is one of those guys that just have always been a scene stealer in every movie he's been in. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my good friend, actor, stand-up comedian. Wow. Face on love. What? Yeah, yeah, that was gold, man. Right, right. I'm just saying, how do I? Why, do you, why don't you have a late night talk show? I don't what know. Fuck? That was gold. I would have fucked that up. You would have. <laughs> can we cuss for it? Yeah, you can. Oh, you can. I would have been like, um, <laughs> listen, uh, y'all know him. <laughs> that was gold. Listen, bro. man, I've been doing this a, a, a long time. And, and the thing about it, that about you, phrase on, I've been doing this forever. And people forget, you know, I started hosting in, in, yeah, uh, in MTV. my MTV days and hosted all kinds Jeez. of music shows and comedy shows. And when I'm when I do this show, what I love about this is like I get to kick it with my friends, like people that I have had a connection with throughout my career. Mm. And uh, you are one of those guys that have been in and out of my life. Like, right. like I see you all the time and then I don't see you. Then right. I see you. You know what I mean? You just it's like an ebb and flow. I, I've never had an opportunity uh, to really sit down and tell you how proud I am of you. Now, we're going to talk about <laughs> real quick. We want to just talk about your movies. Right. And I was thinking about this last night. I said, wow, all these knockout scenes that you have um, played in these in these films, like like Fridays, right? Mm -hmm. When I first saw you in Fridays, I literally thought that's who you were. You know what's so funny? I'm going to tell you. You play big movies. I can tell you which car you were driving, what movie I was, had done. You lying. Listen, you are driving a 500 coupe. Yes, I was. Okay, because that was the first time you, I forgot who came to the, we were at a, a, a place in Hollywood, a club in Hollywood. I had to, I had to, it was a gold It was 500, a gold 500 coupe. When you backed up, the, the, little, the little antennas came up. Only person <laughs> I saw with a 600 was Easy e So I, I had a four door, it was a four door 500. And I'm going to tell you what, just real quick, the, the night you remember, it was me, you, and Chris Tucker, and we was going to Peanuts. <laughs> I didn't want to I didn't. I'm sorry. Let's stay focused. Right. Because that's a whole nother story. Right. That's, I'm sorry. I'm right. sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Right. That's, right. that's not made for the That's why I know so. when you said Friday, I was like, oh, I mean, because we was on your nuts. Like, damn, what yeah. is this? Yeah, man? yeah, yeah. I, like, what kind of money? Because Chris, like, man, how you get out of this? Man, what's all this, man? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. So you were you were playing Big Worm, and um, at that moment I was like, "Wow, man! I uh, I knew you from the comedy side, and that was a more serious role." And I, but I believed you, and I said, "Damn, man! Faison got some chops. And that Big Worm was scary." Really? Yeah, because it was just the way you played. It was the swag on it. You know what I mean? It was, wow. it was, a, it was, it was. You was like a cool ass, threatening dude. That's hilarious. And how did how did you come across that that role? Um, Nancy Chides was my agent. I'll never forget her. She was like Faison. <laughs> Faison. <laughs> she worked for this lady named um, Shirley Wilson. And she said, Faison, they have a movie Friday. They want you to go in. I said, you want me what? Go in the movie Friday? No, there's the movie. It's called Friday, Faison. <laughs> I was like, so when you want me going Friday? I was like, what? <laughs> so she said, Faison, listen to me. Thursday, you're going to read for a movie called Friday. And I used to hate to audition because I was like, so I was like, fuck. So I go in there as the character already. Like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm talking to them like, maybe I want this job, maybe I don't want this motherfucker's job. Right. <laughs> <laughs> tell me how, tell me what the fuck's going on, right? Right. They loved it. Chris was like, man, was kind of frustrated because Dave Chappelle and D.L. Hughley kept beating him out of shit. Right. So he said, like, man, I ain't going in there. Nobody want to do no movie with goddamn Ice Cube. I was like, nigga, go in there. I said, trust me, you're going to have fun. Just go in there as a character. So he goes in there and fucks up the audition. He's like, he just half-hazardly did it. Like, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
and they kind of be like, nah. But I don't know if it was Cube or Gary that was like, nah, come back in. And then we, uh, him and Angela worked on it with him. Because that's right. what we would always work on stuff. Like, like okay, let's look. We smoke a joint. So, okay, let's go through the scene. Let's right. go through it. It was like, you got to be this nigga. You can't go in there acting. You got to be this You got to be him already, yeah. Yeah, you can't. Because that's why I hate the acting, the audition process. Like, I, I can't do this. And so I would have to go in as the person. Somebody gonna get slapped on the way in, and right? You going, you you full character, full from the go in, right? <laughs> and when I leave, I'm this nigga. Right. I might pull move over the table or something like that. Right. I taught this guy named Deezer D that. He took it too far. <laughs> this nigga pulled a gun out on. I think Robbie Reed. I was like, <laughs> no, that's not. That's too real. That's too real. You're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get that wrong. But um. That's how it, that's how it happened. Want to watch the full version of this episode and many others? Then upgrade your membership to the commercial free version of the Bill Bellamy Network. When you upgrade your membership, you'll gain full access to our entire library of shows, exclusive behind the scenes footage, and much more. Upgrade your membership right now and you can hang out with stars like I didn't get into it for the fame. Right. I didn't get into it for the notoriety. Right. I got into it because it was a passion. F. Gary Gray, the director, right. had me audition for two roles, T.T. and Frankie. Okay. Because at the time, Rosie Perez was Frankie. So I walk in the room and he goes, so you're the next best, you're the next big thing, huh? And I'm like, I, I, I care. <laughs> huh? I, I think I might have made that noise. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Click on the link below and upgrade your membership to the commercial-free version of the Bill Bellamy Network right now.